I do have my puffin box downstairs for anyone who's just joining and doesn't know what I'm talking about. Yep, Pam, do, do these things first. This is the Maker's Monthly Needle Felting Box, which is a project every single month. We got a bit behind, so this was December's box. So this month's box is the Puffin, which we'll be starting on next week. But we just want to finish up this one. So I'm going to get into this. I kind of read ahead and I can see I, I realized I needed a little bit of a little bit of cardboard for the next bit um and then i realized i needed a strong sewing needle which i don't have so we're gonna go off piste again <laughs> again um but guys let me know in the let me know in the chat if everything's working okay um hopefully we're not doing double sound or anything creepy and then we can get started um i hope you all had a wonderful week um yeah i've just been working away oh i should what have I been working away on? I had a, a little project. If you haven't already, I do have, you can see them on both sides. I can, I do have a video on how I make this curly fur, which I think makes the best poodles in the world. So hand curled fur for a pair of poodles. Um, that's, that's what I've been doing this week. Don't talk so close to the mic. Um, yeah <laughs> i've got some ideas in the planning as well wow banging the table on my elbow that's a good start it's gonna be one of these days okay let's check the chat and then we will get going um eva's in the house <laughs> hello pam and the fluff friends uh pamela hello to my stabbing friends a lovely clear day is dawned in silverton oregon oh fantastic it is it's beautiful here but freezing like half my friends have woken up to snow that this is not right the sun's out the little flowers are coming out and they're just gonna go no that's too cold i'm going back um and alicia's here hello everyone alicia for the makers is here today hello there yeah for everyone who doesn't know the makers are a, wond a wonderful team of some very talented women and they make these little kits for us every month um so yeah if you want you can you can come along and just join in the chat and um, watch my danger felting uh, so happy just to hang out if felting isn't your thing you can also use up scraps of what you have to felt along but of course get involved um this cat box although it was the december box they release them as kits later on in the year so the cat's available i believe i'm not making that up so if you see any any of these that i'm making and you go i really love the look of that you can not sponsored for these by the way um, but you can buy a box you know buy, um, sign up for the subscription box and then when you decide to you know if you only want the one just sign up and then cancel and tell them you just want the puffin which is the next one or whatever is coming up um or you can buy these kits felt along at any time or like i said just sit back and do your own craft um right guys can you let me know in the chat if everything's working okay um and then we will just dive into it um it looks like it is but um i, I don't want to do what for anyone who's new here occasionally the software doesn't work and i talk for 20 minutes all by myself <laughs> um so i want to make sure i'm not doing that let's let's check Let's check if everything's running fine. Um, check the buttons. Um, is this playing just now, guys? Can you please let me know? Um, air. I don't know if this is playing, and I don't want to be talking to myself. Oh, Eva says it's working good for you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Um, I couldn't quite see if everything was working so that always freaks me out somewhat okay 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 right let's get into it so i read ahead um what uh, what we're supposed to do with the tail so yeah if you don't want to be weird <laughs> do what it says in the instructions but i'm gonna have to go a little bit different because i can't i don't have a strong enough sewing needle but i need strips little strips of color to wind in to make a tail um i'm making the cat at sort of sort of half size what the kit says that means we can make him extra fluffy and chunky and wonderful hopefully um so yeah we're gonna 
dive into this now that everything's working. Um, yes, because Eva says it's working. Diana can see. <laughs> Alicia's all by herself, but yes, we can see and hear, hear me. Uh, Rose, hello there. And Lisa, afternoon. All fine. Great to see you. Hopefully today will be a nice quick one because we've just got the tail to do and then sort out his body and he's done because this kit does come with its own instructions and materials to make the basket as well but i am allergic to the world at the minute in time so i'm going to avoid making the basket right let's let's go with a nice fluffy tail here this is not how you're supposed to do this <laughs> But it's how I'm doing it because I have to. Um, I'm just going to slightly felt this shut so that I don't have to hold it too much. Let's go black and then brown. I hope this works. Well, if it doesn't work, it'll still be cute. Uh, felt a little bit. I think most cats have a white tip to their tail anyway. So we're going to do, let's do a little bit more black. And off piece, why not? And we'll work in some browns. We'll see what happens. I'll just see how that turns out. <laughs> I, like, I like doing what we're not told to do. So we'll see how that works. And then... We'll add our little bits of white for the end. Oh, I'm nervous that this is all going to fall apart. But like I say, I don't have sewing needles, which is what the description tells us we're supposed to do. Okay. And then now, can I get the cardboard out? Um, oh, Alicia was, was singing all by myself. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, singing doesn't come over great in in video, in text on video. Right, so we've done that. I'm going to, the wire should be down the centre and I'm just going to felt down either side of the wire. Let's see if this works. Um, oh, thanks for the link. Yeah, Alicia's link to if you want to get this kit from the makers. As I say, I'm not sponsored or affiliated to the makers. I'm just making this because it's fun and it's gorgeous. So what I'm trying to do and probably failing miserably is felting down the centre to try and get both sides of the wire a little attached here. Um, Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, then we'll just have a different type of tail. <laughs> and try it on this side as well. Because it's a great little method. Ooh, we've got little bits of black everywhere. It's a great method to make a fluffy tail, but I'm just um I just don't have a good enough sewing needle just now. So we're having to do it this way. As I say, I'm just trying to feel down with my needle where the wire is and felt either side. I think I'm failing miserably, but <laughs> if it falls apart, it falls apart. It's a good thing with felting. Um, you can't go wrong. If, if it falls apart, then this is still going to be still going to be usable fluff. Oh, I did. Do you know, I was sensible and I actually brought a tiny little felting mat so I could do this a little bit better. <laughs> Alicia's interested to see if my my method works. Looks promising. Well, fingers crossed. We'll see. I'm I'm impressed. The first the first thing I was worried about was getting the cardboard out. So the cardboard came out okay. I don't think the felting needles were really going to be strong enough to um felt through cardboard that when you're sewing through it it's supposed to like perforate it so i would have been able to remove it but yeah that wouldn't have happened with a felting needle so i'm just gonna also see most of the kits when i do them when it says so i generally felt because i've always got a felting needle when i'm felting i don't have a sewing needle um uh, 
I can't actually feel where the wire is all that well. <laughs> I'm just hopeful it's down the center. <laughs> It'll kind of work. <laughs> all right, I should be able to feel. There it is. Okay, so I can feel the needle there. And I'm not felting my finger, but it kind of looks like it because it's easy to know where your finger is in the world. So I've put my finger on the wire and I'm just felting close to my finger just to make sure that these bits hold OK, because it's going to be embarrassing when I cut this and it doesn't work. Um, the other thing that's interesting here is they're using the bats to make I would I would always use tops to make fluff. <laughs> um, so this is an interesting difference and in the pictures it definitely looks like it's worked so it's worked for the makers it doesn't mean it's working for me um, okay I can feel the wire so I'm felting my needle down the one side of it and then and this creates like a stitch it's like sewing um, so it should hopefully hold this center and then we're going to cut down either side and they'll spring open like a like a long pom-pom really and um, that's that's the method really cool interesting method i i love it and if this works then we're we're on to a winner yeah i definitely don't have this quite felted enough yet it would be easier to sew it um <laughs> Alicia, Pam always scares me with not using a felting mat. I can't believe she's using something. Yes, I thought it's it's easier to film, actually, rather than having it in the air. If I was just sitting watching telly, I wouldn't use something. But this just makes it a little bit easier for me to find where the wire is and try and felt either side of the wire. Um... <sighs> nervous about when to undo this it looks kind of attached it's much easier if you do it with sewing needles it does look like I've felted it like I've captured the hairs oh should we just go for it and if it falls apart then I'll be I'll do a little tutorial on how to save things when you've messed them up let's see oh these scissors are not as sharp as that they used to be <laughs> So far, so good. And as I say, like a long pom pom, it sort of springs open. I'm wanting to see how the mixing different colours worked in this bit of the tail. It should hopefully just give a bit of a variation. Oh, yeah, and don't keep going down the body. That <laughs> Let's just carry on with the white bit. Kind of possibly working. I'm still nervous that it's all just going to fall off. Oh, the blend's nice. See, just mixing the colours together. That looks good. Okay. We have a tail. I'm not entirely sure it's not all going to fall apart, so I'm going to feel some more <laughs> nervous. But I like how the colours went. That's really cute. So I'm felting down the cut edges and at the fold just to try and make sure it doesn't all fall apart. It, it's still, I'm reasonably confident it's all going to fall apart. <laughs> And just kind of fluff it out. And you could, like a pom-pom, you could kind of trim it as well. <laughs> it's fluffy. Wow, this black really, really goes everywhere. Right, so I'm just encouraging it into a little bit more of a round shape. You could trim it, but my scissors are just not being sharp enough. I kind of felt the end. Um, 
Bridget, hello there. <laughs> Diana, we're ho all holding our breath. Will it work? Um, I think it would be better with the method that the makers suggest. But I'm not hating on this. As you can see, I'm still felting to make sure it doesn't all fall apart. But also, I want to sort of keep the fluffiness, but sort out the shape a little bit. That's not bad. That's not bad. Right. Okay. <laughs> I need to have a little tiny felting hoover for here. Right. Now I'm going to fatten up her body a little bit. So she looks... That's not bad. In fact, but we don't need the white for anything else. So let's let's make her a fluffy sleeping kitten. <laughs> this is cool. I think this is going to be done like in record time. But I don't want to start on the puffing till next week, so everyone has a chance to get their kits and get get sorted. Um, Oh, Alicia, it is fluffy pom pom tails. Yeah, the makers has a tutorial for that. So awesomeness. Um, right. While I'm stabbing this, I will also work on colouring it because it's kind of good to add the colours while you're while everything's soft, so it sort of blends together and looks a bit more natural. So I'm adding black um, and. A little bit of different colours. <laughs> um, and what did they say we want to do down the back? It's just like little patches. Um, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do random patches wherever it wants to fall. <laughs> Lisa, I love it. From certain angles, it looks a bit like a swan, um, a duck, and then you can see the cat again. Yes, that's the magic of felting. Um, Alicia, yeah, seriously, felting animals seems to be like felting a zoo in one project, so many stages. Absolutely. If you don't doubt it <laughs> if you don't go what on earth is that at some point then you're doing it wrong <laughs> they definitely go through some crazy stages um but i think that's the difference between someone who sort of is successful at needle felting and someone that isn't it's not really skill it's just confidence to get to the point you know if you're not happy with it just to keep on keep on forcing it get in there and tell it it's going to be a cat or it's going to be a swan or whatever else um that's um sorry mom but that's um what mom did me and mom both found the book together and kind of got into the idea ordered the kits ordered a kit and started felting kind of together but uh, she just wasn't happy with her first felts you know and so she didn't keep going Whereas there was nothing wrong with it. It was a good beginner felt. You just needed to felt for an extra two hours. Most people don't don't have the patience to do that. Um, so that's that's the difference, kind of. Right, I like and the maker is the head slightly on the side. So I'm just gonna turn it. See? See? Looks a little bit like a cat now. <laughs> but I'm just gonna firm it up a bit. So, how's everybody's week been? Tell me all about it. We've got a nice, nice chilled one because I've only got like, I've only got to make this into a curled up shape and then we're done. <laughs> what an easy little project. Well, we do have, I want, yeah, I won't even show you. If you want to know how to do it, get the kit. Um, but there, there is instructions for making the basket and for doing the whiskers. So, it's going to be a really cute little basket for him to be curled up in in the structural felt um which would be adorable but it just goes for my eyes um i'm actually going to try and remember and phone the doctors this week and say give me some actual proper strong um antihistamines because 
all the all the ones that you can get in the shops are just no good um yeah. carol hey there hey pam alicia and the crafty cat clan loving the kitty's tail yeah it worked pretty well doesn't it actually i'm quite pleased with that now um hopefully mr puffin arrives this week so i can craft along next sunday oh awesome i look forward to that yeah the puffin the pictures are looking awesome so i look forward to it and i'm a bit nervous but we'll see how how we go and um, yeah that's i can't believe it's the 11th of april already so I think Puffin will definitely take us to the end of the month, I think. That that won't be just a one one hour felting to get him done. Um but yeah, it's cool. Nice little project we can all do together. Oh. I think I did overdo it putting all of the fleece on at once. Um it does look a bit fat. But it's the cool thing. Um I don't know if you can see what I'm doing is like squishing this is where i think it's a real sculpture you can squish in where where i want the shape to be and then gently without getting my fingers try and felt that shape that i squished so it's it's solid it's fixed or the same like i want her curled round. now there's a wire in there but it's good to get the body to as well so just using my hand, just using my bizarre claw here. This is why I like holding it up in the air, but using my bizarre claw to hold her into a curled shape. This is definitely a she. Did we name the cat? Um, but yeah, hold her into a curled shape and then felt round so that her body kind of works like that. I think, yes, there we go. <laughs> I wanna hang on, I wanna give you a bit more of a smile. You're having happy dreams. I love it when your pets, when they're curled up sleeping and they just look happy and so peaceful. It's very cute. Um, <laughs> Alicia, the puffin's amazing. We had our first Zoom today. For those that don't know, the makers with, with Alicia do Zoom calls for crafting the box together as well. Um, I spent the whole time doing the beak. Oh, wow. Can't wait to see how fast Pam does it. It's not a right. These are supposed to be projects to like spend a bit of time. Um, oh, Lisa building some boring spreadsheets this week. Oh, bad luck. I, I actually enjoy spreadsheets. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way how I can use spreadsheets or something. I have got obviously so many different needle felted dogs like pictures of them from the past ooh, 13 wow 13 years and like people are contacting me and going show me the pictures you've got of uh something breed and you're like yeah i made one of them about four years ago i have no idea where the pictures are so i'm trying to find a way to correlate all my pictures so that i can actually ooh, so that i can actually find specific breeds that i did at some point so if anyone knows how to do that <laughs> in a sensible format i'm going through renaming all the files just now which i should have done as i went along but it's kind of fun because i'm looking going, wow i don't remember making that one and yeah that one's kind of cute or or well more more to the point really that photography you know those pictures really came out good so i'll i'll maybe use those pictures but yeah just trying to figure out a way to make it easier on myself um but yeah watched your video on summer trends great watch i'm glad you enjoyed it yeah if you guys haven't seen it um i used i i did i've done a few trends videos of what's coming up and stuff and what i've been doing just looking at the different places like um i get mails from lots of crafty companies and things so i'm sort of seeing what people are putting out there then etsy released their trend guide for spring summer so i just kind of went through it all like what's what's going to be hot what's going to be not and um, pulling up pictures from etsy and pinterest and everything just to get an idea of the crafty trends so 
if you're interested in the ideas of things that you can buy i'm not selling anything there but you know to see what some of the trends are i, I know i look at it and i'm like oh there's a good idea um or if you're interested in ideas of what things you can make um i said i said last week um looks like butterflies are going to be big this year and i can totally understand that like butterfly prints on clothes um shows that are butterfly wings which are absolutely gorgeous um but butterflies in all shapes and forms and the makers have a kit for that <laughs> if you want a needle felt a butterfly um but yeah uh, so there's <laughs> so that there's ideas but also what the style is um because it's really cool when you're taking your pictures what's the mood what are Etsy going to be promoting what are bloggers going to be looking for just to get that kind of feel um obviously like this time of year beachy stuff outside in the forest if it works for your your work but you know what's what's the styles what's the colors you know can you change your backdrop to fit in with things um so hopefully that <laughs> that helps people um so yeah definitely give give a watch to my video from this this week it, it needs a bit of needs a bit of love because it was a lot of work into that one um but yes you don't have to watch it. <laughs> it's my choice to put the work in. Um, Alicia, Patches, yes. Patches the kitty. I do want to give her some little paws. I didn't leave any white. I don't know why. I just want, I just fancy that. Okay, I have some random white sitting about. Sorry, makers, going off piste again. <laughs> Pam's doing her own thing. So, how are we going to make this? just folding a little triangle um alicia we spent two hours on a beak we did talk a lot and go to the farm with erica oh and see all the animals especially the baby lambs oh that's so cute um yeah that's lovely i'm just talking to my mum actually she was she was saying around her they've got a lot of jacob's sheep and everything and her and her friend walk off into the hills every morning it's it's a climb i struggle to do that hill so well done ladies um so she was saying that the, the lamb seems super late this year. I don't know if that was a choice by the farmer or something, just with the state of the world. But, yeah. Um, but probably sensible because the snow everywhere. Um, but, yes, I'd love to see Erica's baby animals. That that sounds fun. So, yeah, those that don't, you should totally join in the Zoom call with, with the makers. I'm... I'm always too I never get the chance because I'm busy getting ready for this um <laughs> Diana's on her third hour for the puffins beak okay so next week let's let's I'm well puffins do have a big beak but I'm nervous um Lisa uh, maybe hyperlink them as separate documents yeah I could look into that for sure um CJ hello there good morning um I hope hope you're well good to see you yeah oh there's more chat than i thought so <laughs> uh, alicia a kit for two peacock butterflies yeah absolutely it's the year year for sticking butterflies on things um i think even i love seeing like people who make so like a howling wolf or a cat or the the hairs um and then work things into them so you could put like a, a moon gazing hair with butterflies going up it and stuff that would be cute um pamela sorry she missed the farm visit with erica me too um <laughs> oh alicia the 2d painting of the butterfly was your second make with me last summer oh awesome i think <laughs> No, there's gonna no. <laughs> there's going to be a felt launch if I move it. If I move it, but you can vaguely see the, the side of the butterfly. That was one of the videos we did last year. Great fun. Um, super easy kit. Yep. Um, because the butterfly is printed on the on the fabric, and then you just felt the colours over the top, and it makes a really beautiful 
um thing oh cj marmalade the cat yes that that could also be i think i think hmm, well, let, let us know we've got patches or marmalade um Rose, it's so great to zoom with them yep um alicia thanks for the link yeah everyone if you're using the kits and everything get over and to everyone's a maker's facebook page as well and pam duffy's crafty friends it still won't let me change to clan um but yeah join us all in the facebook groups um oh and also i don't i don't push it enough but um i do have a facebook page ben mcfuzzy lugs that i'm going to start doing some interesting things on hopefully so yeah don't don't forget to head over there and join that as well like i say i'm going to do some interesting things i want to dispel the myth that you need to advertise to have a facebook page um because a lot of people hear this oh, that, that, can, right can you guys see that is it going to show up on camera come on do you see that there's a bit of angelina fiber there the other day when i was i was getting washed and i was like there's something in my eye that's annoying and i pulled out a little bit of the angelina fiber and i don't know how it got there like i'd been sleeping i got up i went and washed my face i don't felt in my bedroom so how on earth i don't felt in my bathroom either i'm not that weird it's not like that sims game where they go and knit on the toilet or something so yeah um i had a bit of angelina fiber in my eye it was very pretty but annoying um what was i saying does anyone oh yeah yeah there's there's myth going around everyone's like, oh you can't have a facebook page anymore you need to advertise so i want to dispel that myth so i'm going to work a little bit more on my facebook page they're not as fun as groups but i still think there's a place for facebook pages missed certain alert so yes ben mcfuzzy lugs on facebook give it a give it a wee follow um and hopefully hopefully i get some ideas there all right pause now we need two beans Yum. jennifer um i walk by a farm on the south downs and can't say there's many lambs yet oh you haven't started the puffing yet trying to make the maker's owl all well, the owl was a great fun po project but really really took a lot of time so yeah well, maybe the farmers are going later with the the sheep this the lambs this year fair enough makes sense um never never sure i assume that it, it's a whole balance thing between if you want them early for lamb for easter but there's the risk of the weather um so i've just felted some lines to give it some pause um or then if you go later the weather's likely to be better but you miss that premium on the the new lamb for easter maybe i don't know um <laughs> Alicia, yep, you can do it, Jen. Absolutely. Finish the owl. You'll love it. It is it is a great project. Right. You tootsies. I should have felted the feet a little bit better. Um, but I just wanted to see how my idea works. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, Jennifer, the owl looks a tad off at the moment. I think I've made the face fringe too long. Cut it. <laughs> but yeah, that's what, what we were saying earlier on is they can look weird and everything um, while you're while you're making them but then it all comes together at the end just if you don't like the face fringe if it's too long cut it off cut off bits of it if you cut off too much remove it and make a new face fringe <laughs> um it's felting you can't go wrong um alicia thanks for the links um oh cj yeah it's probably because clan spelt with a k in the us is a bad group of people yes i know exactly what you mean yes you don't need to explain any further yes um 
that, that's not a clan with a K. It's a clan with a C. It's a Scottish clan, um, because you're you're my little needle felting clan. Um, to be little toes. If we see if I've got some light pink lying about. I do have from the nose. Well, what I will right. We'll blend some up. <laughs> this is cool. I'm getting to go off piste because we've got a little time because it's an easy project. So it's cool. I like the pause. <laughs> um, Pamela saying to Jen, don't despair. I'm working on an owl and a dragon myself. Hey, are you, are you really a crafter if you don't have 10 different crafts on the go? I, at the middle of the time, I've got tons of bodies of cats lying about the place. I, I seem to have an obsession with cats. I was going to even make videos on showing how to build up a pro, you know, range and everything, um, but I just haven't got around to it yet. I'm trying to stay on camera. So just making little pink separators. And because we can, I'm going to add two beans as well. So yeah, this isn't part of <laughs> part of the kit that, that comes with it, but you can take these ideas as a starting point and then run with your own version of the critters. And I just like <laughs> curling up on her paws that patches or marmalade. Um, is cute and then I do it is missing is that the right <laughs> is that the right thing like, I shouldn't have used up all of the all of the core um so I'm just making a little semicircle Ooh, need more than that again if it's in the basket you don't need any of these little additional touches A little back leg. Um. Oh, chat's jumping. Uh, Maria, my cat looks like this kitty. Ah, oh. <laughs> my mother-in-law calls her ginger pudding, so her name's Sky. Oh, that is so cute. Ginger pudding the cat. <laughs> I like that. Um, Alicia, lots of people made legs for the cat. I bet they did. Um, a little bit further back. There we go. Yes. Um, that's it. You've got this this little shape as a starter, and then you can add what you want to it. And also, if you're in the makers group or anything, you can also see what other people made to to be inspired by their ideas. Um, <laughs> Alicia likes the name Ginger Pudding. I do as well. That sounds so cute. Um, oh, Alicia, yes, a little collar with a bell. That's a great idea too. Ooh. If you were a cat of this colour and this, what? What colour co No, I don't really like that. There we go. <laughs> Didn't need the back leg. Would it work in there? No. No, no, no. Don't like the back leg, like the front leg. So if you were this cat, what colour collar would she have? Oh, it does kind of look like a kitty from upside down, doesn't it? That's weird. Uh, what colour collar would she have? Um... Oh, Pamela, truffles or pebbles? A gator, Agatha race. <laughs> um, Alicia, yes, it's Orlando the Marmalade Cat. Ah, I knew there was a series of books. Oh, awesome. Um, <laughs> Diana's happy I'm giving her pause. Um, CJ, yep, Truffles is indeed cute. Truffles the cat. <laughs> 
I'm going I'm to give her toe beans too while we're, while we're at it because she does look kind of cute upside down. So, toe beans. <laughs> She's only got three paws, so I won't be able to do quite the teddy bear look. But um, oh, Alicia and Diana both say a pale blue collar for truffles, marmalades, patches, the cat, um, and Eva. Yet yeah, blue or red? Do I? Ooh, do you know what? I actually have blue kicking about. She may get her own little collar as well once we've got the paws in place. I didn't make the pause with toe beans in mind, so it's not not the easiest. But still cute. Um, and Lisa would buy truffles a royal blue collar. Ooh, fancy. Like I say, what, what name have we decided? Like, half of you seem to be calling her pup Truffles. Damn, but... Okay, she, she's... What is she? She's Patchy's, Patchy's Marmalade Truffles the first. The first of her name. <laughs> Did I miss any names there? Um, <laughs> Alicia would eat truffles. No! Yeah. Right, I do have... I do happen to have some blue sitting next to me, so that is handy. I don't have anything to make a bell with, but we can make a collar, so let's make a collar. Um, <laughs> Alicia, muff mushroom and chocolate versions of truffles not cat version of truffles <laughs> diana she's ginger you guys are making me hungry actually ginger truffles sound nice mm. <laughs> just like any food sounds nice and after this i have to go and sort out my online food delivery shopping and it, it's just it's no better buying food online than going around the shop. You still add all the extras when you're hungry. <laughs> so ginger truffles. <laughs> yeah, that does sound nice. Tesco's, do you have any ginger truffles in? Um, Eva, cat named Muffin. Oh, I missed Muffin. <laughs> How many food names are there for cats? <laughs> truffles and... Ginger truffle, ginger truffle muffins. Is that a thing? Should that be a thing? <laughs> Would that be a thing? Would that even work? That sounds delicious. <laughs> That's too big a collar just now. Um, but yes, muffin, muffin the cat too. <laughs> she does look rather sweet. It does look like a cartoon character. It actually that yeah, the face is getting on for quite more bag puss. If I'd have made it more like the droopy, the flat face ones, I've got to make a bag bag puss. I've meant to felt a bag puss forever. Um Pamela, can you source a good foil wrapped truffle and use the recognizable foil for the collar? Oh, what a fancy idea. I like that. Um <laughs> Rose, I don't know how you stab like that. I'm sitting there saying ouch. It's just practice and having fingers that have been stabbed so often that they I don't even notice so much anymore. Um but yeah, it's it just makes it easier. If I wasn't able to do it like this, then I wouldn't be able to watch watch TV, I wouldn't be able to read all your comments. Um, and have so much fun when I'm felting 
felting along. Um, but yeah, I know. Um, everybody else in the world <laughs> felts on a mat. I just have to be different. Um, in fact, yeah, let, let's do a poll of everyone who is here. Um, and by the way, let's go for 25 likes today. So I forgot to say that at the start. Um, so if you haven't already, hit the like button. Um, if you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Thumbs down. Thumbs down if you hate it. But um, give us a thumbs up for ginger truffle um, muffin. Ginger truffle muffin. Um, patches, everything else of her name. Give us a thumbs up for that and we'll try and aim to get 25 thumbs up by the end of the stream uh, <laughs> for no reason at all other than I fancy it. And now I forgot what I was talking about. Someone wrote, what, what were we talking about anyway? <laughs> But yeah, Rose, Rose saying, I don't know how you felt <laughs> felt like that. Oh, that was it. Yes, let me know in the comments. Do you, do you, if you felt, do you felt in the air all the time? Do you always use a mat? Do you sometimes use a mat and sometimes felt in the air? Let's have a little pop pop quiz. Let me know what what you you all do. Um, because I'm sure there are some some other felt in the air. Oh, that does look cute, doesn't it? Let's just make it a bit firmer. Um, I should have actually done the collar before I did the pause. I'm going to have to move her pause. Um, Alicia, yep, yeah, a poll. Let, let's let's find out how everybody felt. <laughs> Just gently pulling this to kind of even it out. All right, sorry, kitten. Let's just move your paws. Pop your collar down. Oh, cool. Almost exactly the right length felted. Trim away the excess. And she doesn't need her bell because it's hidden up. It's hidden in her under her paws when I put this back together. But there we go. the collar there, pop the feet back in and she's not getting whiskers because I never do whiskers. <laughs> um, I will have to figure out how to do whiskers sometime but yes let's just get her firmed up a little bit and then I think I think we've done is there anything else a kitten needs? The back legs didn't work. I just didn't like them. But definitely the front, the front paws and the toe beans. I'm loving. Um, oh, we've got we've got results for our poll. Let's see the polls in. Oh, and twenty two likes are it. Thank you so much, guys. Um, Alicia mostly uses a mat. Sometimes felts in the air. Carol, 75% on the mat, 25% airy fairy. <laughs> so I'm an airy fairy filter. <laughs> Rose, different is more fun. Absolutely. If we're all the same, how boring would that be? Um, Diana, felt in the air for animals on a mat for flat stuff. That makes a ton of sense. Yep. Even I occasionally use, use some kind of a felting surface. Um, Yeah, Pamela, air felting happens, but any available surface will do. Yeah, well, to to be fair, um, I'm not I'm not always air felting. Sometimes I'm I'm using my fingers. <laughs> um. Oh, Eva, yes, Cookie, Cookie's in her name as well. Yes, mustn't mustn't forget Cookie. Um, Alicia, I know you have horse hair whiskers in the kit but I don't have any decent needles and I don't have any glue up here so I, I don't think she needs whiskers I know cat owners go mental if I don't add whiskers but I just don't don't think they need it um CJ large felting on the mat small felting in my hand oh interesting um I totally get small felting I, you can get up close and personal and it's easier to manipulate um what I find with large felting is 
you know, th that could be on a mat or whatever. See, for, for me, this is large. I know this is like tiny for most people. But um, what I find is the needle's not going to be going through to anything anyway. So you could sit with this on your lap or whatever. I'm just going to thin her neck down. Yeah. Thin her neck down, firm her up a little bit. The tail's not falling apart yet. Um, you can still see the join there where I cut it, but we did okay. <laughs> oh, guys, who who else has who else has made the cat? Um, I know this was in December, so I missed all your pictures of it and everything because I was just so busy with. December. <laughs> Everybody's so busy with December in December. So yeah, let me know if you made the cat. Because um, yes, this for, for anyone just joining, this kit was the December kit. Um, so yeah, I'm a little behind. The, this month's kit is the puffin that we will be starting next week because... Ginger Truffles Muffin Cookie Patches, the cat, is nearly done. Um, and yeah, we have 30 people watching and 22 likes, so three more likes. <laughs> and then Ginger Muffin Truffles Patches Cookie, the cat, <laughs> will be done. <laughs> Never have I had a critter with so many different names. <laughs> Sky Wolf, hi there. I'm sorry I'm late. No problem at all. I was going to ask this, guys. Is this time, is whatever time this is in, in your world, is this time a good time? Because I was just thinking, I don't know why I chose this time. It seemed sensible, but there is absolutely no reason why I couldn't do later on on a Sunday. Probably wouldn't be worth doing earlier because I know you you over the other side of the world this is quite early in the morning but would you fancy a later a later felt um for you guys in the zoom call would you prefer a little bit of time after the zoom call do something in the evening or are you happy with a get off the zoom come and <laughs> come and join pam type situation let me know in the chat what you what you fancy there um well, wow, this cat came together really quite quite nicely. Um, she's just a little bit under firm for my liking. Um, and this is this is half the size it's supposed to be actually. I went I went for a smaller version because I like felting them quite firm and I like small. In fact, yeah, there is no reason now to be down. Let's do that. Put that camera away and then I can just felt up like this <laughs> and you can kind of see the butterfly in the background um, sky wolf it's a fine time <laughs> I would like you to do full day lives <laughs> and the zoom is the makers we spoke about it earlier but you weren't here um, the makers girls Alicia does a zoom call for people making these kits as well that's just earlier on a Sunday if you want to join in with them I um, my, I never get around to getting online I will one of these days I will jump in and I'll see I'll see you all zooming as well um, I'd love to I've thought of doing like longer lives um, I believe yes I can um I had wondered about the idea I have seen people do full day things I know it sounds kind of weird um but if what it's possible to have like pre-recorded videos as well so you could do a live and then be like okay I'm busting for the loo drop a short video on um that you know something a bit different to keep up with and then come back to the live so I'll maybe think about doing a longer live sometime. Maybe as a bit of a challenge. I've also thought about let let me know um, for everyone who's also selling their work online. I have thought I don't do a, a live about you know selling online. I could do like shop reviews and stuff. Do something kind of midweek. Um, if you fancy something like that, I know I used to do the Eat See You. I've applied for the Eat See uh, 
to be an EC instructor again for this year. So I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But I know I used to do those EC instructional videos. I could do like once a week, maybe showing what I'm doing with my shop, something for you to all join in with and to keep me <laughs> keep me working on my shop. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um... <laughs> Diana, this time's perfect. Please don't change or I will forget. Good point. Um, yeah, I can I can do more than one live. Um, Alicia, time's good for me. Then I start cooking dinner. Yeah, same. Um, <laughs> Lisa, seven or eight p.m. would be ideal. Selfishly, <laughs> it's after dinner. Yes, um, yes, I do. Um, <laughs> Eva, time's good for you too. You just think one hour is short. <laughs> okay i'll maybe see about doing some longer ones i'll see it it oddly takes a lot of energy to sit and talk to nobody <laughs> um but i do i do enjoy it too uh rose thinks it's a good time skywolf can someone send me the details of the zoom i'd love to join um yeah i if oof, well alicia alicia if you send the <laughs> send the links whatever is there yeah that sounds good uh, CJ, it's 8 a.m. here, so later would be better rather than earlier. I definitely won't do um, earlier. Yes, <laughs> I can see that. It's either later or this time, but definitely not earlier. Um, Lisa, split lives would be great, but what fits in with the schedule? Oh, yes, interesting. I'll see. I do. Um, there's a YouTuber I follow that did. I, I can't do I don't have a team and stuff, but he did i think oh <laughs> the, the little boss on my wrist just told me i've got to stand up <laughs> i for those that don't see me on social media or whatever i thought i need to get more active and do more stuff so i got a little a little bully from my wrist um <laughs> And it literally every hour it says you've not stood up in an hour. You really want to stand up. So I've been I've been here for an hour. Um, yeah, no, there's there's someone I follow on YouTube who was it was a conference like a, a weekend conference or something, and I think he did a three day long live stream. And he had it was like Ghostbusters or something. He had this backpack with all these live stream stuff, and then he would hand it off to somebody else to do a few hours and stuff. And he would come back. It was very interesting. Um, I don't think I could do something like that, but I have thought about doing a longer live stream. But I've always chickened out, and I thought um, you guys would like get bored. <laughs> but now everyone's saying that an hour is lo not long enough. That's so bizarre. Okay, maybe. Maybe I'll try something a bit longer. Um, yeah, I need to make some videos to pop in, like to hold things while I took dog for a walk and did, did things like that. But it's an interesting idea. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Um, yeah, we could. It's like a festival of felting, isn't it? A really good do with so someone else to help. I'm. I'm wondering, actually, yeah, we could do guests. I think I could put someone else on the stream to be a guest while I went away and walked the dog or something. What, what do you hmm. Then there's the danger. It would have to be people I trust. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's an interesting, different idea. Okay, guys, we need two more likes on this video. So hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. I It'll hurt my feelings, but I don't mind. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down for, oh, what was her name? Truffles, macaroon, cookie, pumpkin, turnip, patches, marmalade the cat. <laughs> First of her name, um, snoo Snoozer. <laughs> I was going to call her like Slayer of Mises, but no, Snoozer in Sunshine. <laughs> uh, Alicia, thanks. Thanks for the link to the the zoom thingies i totally will join in someday um, come on come on guys we need two two more likes for this for the stream to finish if we don't get the two more likes things will blow i just wonder yeah i'm wondering how it would work to do like a really long live stream i'm intrigued 
<laughs> it was my power brick. That's the problem because I've got lights everywhere and everything everywhere. There's a lot of power extension cords and stuff. Okay, I think that is exactly on an hour. Fantastic. <laughs> um, exactly on an hour and we've finished the little cat. She turned out. Right. I, I love the little patches of colour. That's very cute. Um, if you missed last week, we did her head. And then this week, we finished with the body and the tail. And added the little paws. So don't forget to um, share them with Pam Duffy's crafty friends. And more importantly, um, with the makers because they make the kits um, and they're kind enough to let me make these videos. I say let me, didn't ask permission, <laughs> but they, they seem happy enough with me making the kits. Um, so they come up with these brilliant ideas every month. The kits have everything you need in them to make the to make the project. It's a fun thing. Oh, Nelly forgot. <laughs> Wow, it's getting busy back there. I, I'm gonna have to do like a, an auction or something <laughs> to get rid of get rid of the cat. Um, Alicia, I'm hungry. Somebody like this so we can eat. <laughs> twenty five dinner time. You have twenty. It's saying twenty four just now, but we're nearly done. Okay, guys, I'll take your word for it that we have the twenty five likes. It doesn't matter even if we didn't. But I appreciate. Thank you all for hanging out. Same time next week, we'll get on with the puffin. Um, okay, everyone, take care. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much. <laughs>